Hello and welcome to the reunion of 1984 Lights Out. Zach was just announced as the winner by a vote of four to three against Austin. Um, so this was a great season, definitely top tier. Um, I'm going to let the, the recency bias wear off first before I officially say where I want to rate the season. But this was a very good season, very good cast. Um, we really enjoyed having you all. Um, so I am going to share my screen and we will do awards. Okay. So the first award we are going to be doing is the most robbed pre-juror. Let me move this over here. So our nominees for most robbed pre-juror were Billy, Chloe, Jerry, and Peyton. And the award goes to Jerry. Jerry is our most robbed pre-juror, though most of the pre-jury was robbed, if not all of you guys. Um, this, this season had a bunch of great game players, and so every week production in the viewers' lounge was very sad to see anybody go, um, but Jerry specifically um, had a lot of potential in this game, and it was really sad for um, us to see him go, although I will say um, in the cast assessment, um, most of us did predict Jerry going pre-jury, but um, Kennedy, you had your hand up. Are we allowed to talk at all or do you want us to stay muted? Because I talk, talk a lot. You can talk a little bit, but. Okay, Jerry robbed. Okay, that was all I wanted. <laughs> for this one's for Jerry being robbed. God comes a twisted T every award. <laughs> okay, next award is the most robbed juror. Our nominees are Kennedy, Garrett, and Corey. We gave this award to. Corey. So Corey, unfortunately, was working during the double, um, which was a big part of their downfall. Um, and I think that Corey had a lot more to give in this game. Um, and so that is why we gave Corey most rob juror. Though, I loved I believe that Kennedy played a great game as well, as well as um, Garrett getting flipped on last minute was also. Uh, Sorry, Garrett. Right. Love you guys too. Thanks. I am so Thank upset you. about the way Corey went. Just to publicly say that, I cried afterwards. Okay, keep going. Next, we have I remember that worst move of the season. The nominees are Corey nominating Amanda, Kennedy voting out Garrett. Um, I will confirm that was a tie vote that week. Um, Josh voted out Garrett. Zach voted out Austin, and um, Kennedy broke the tie and voted out Garrett. And then Allie backdooring Devin. I don't know why that's lower. Hi, Kennedy. But. Hey, Garrett. <laughs> there is Allie backdooring Devin. While all of those moves were not very um, good, um, Allie backdooring Devin uh, definitely was not the best move because um, Allie essentially put herself on the bottom and ended up leaving the week after. Um, where it would have been much smarter for her to put up, let's say, Josh, um, with no. um, Garrett likely leaves there, or possibly Josh, which makes the numbers a lot more even. So next we have, oh, we have an honorable mention, um, Dylan's List. Um, I forgot about that. It's not Dylan's List. No, um, that, was, <laughs> that was an iconic moment this season. Um, I just have I to say- I remember going <laughs> Sorry, I, go ahead. My, my favorite moment <laughs> was when I got on call with Dylan and he said that Kennedy saw the list and so he told her that there was a back of the list and then he goes there's no back on this list. I knew there was no back of the list. And I'm I, not stupid. I, he said there was a back to the list? Yeah, I didn't the know people that. he wanted to work with. I was I like, cackled, That's what the front of the list is. <laughs> I cackled oh. and ran around my apartment all night that night just oh. at that. So... I also remember going to my prod chat and going, do you think Dylan didn't think, does Dylan not know we saw that? And then Michael goes, what? <laughs> I think also another thing that I liked about that was Devin thinking that that was a power in the game. I thought that was hilarious. Slither is at his finest. Now on the opposite, the best move of the season. First, Zach using veto on Austin to take out Corey. Zach convincing Garrett to backdoor Dylan and Josh convincing Kennedy to vote out Garrett. 
winner is Zach Convincing Gary. I'm honored. Your Dylan. This move, I I saw at the beginning of that call. Um, obviously, Garrett was hardcore wanting to keep it the same. It was the perfect scenario. Garrett winning HUH and Beto easily taking out his target of Allie. And then Zach just uh, pipes in there. At first, he messages production or his production chat. And he says something about why is he not doing Dylan? This is the perfect time to get Dylan. And the next thing you know, Garrett is talking about doing Dylan and Devin is hardcore pushing for it as well. Um, so that was a very iconic moment. I remember putting in the production chat, mark this down, best move of the season. And here we go. <laughs> it's right here. Thank you for flashbacks. Stop. <laughs> okay. Next award. We have the best duo. Before you say anything, I know that Austin and Allie were not necessarily a duo, but production loved hooking them up together because um, you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> They're experts. It needs to be Austin on top. <laughs> not- so that way it's Austin and Allie. It's Allie and Austin. Come on. Um, I thought you, you were making a joke about Austin being on top. I was like, sweetie, <gasps> this is not the time to make that joke. <laughs> Um, and then we had Devin and Peyton, who were a duo at the beginning of the season. Um, they were getting on calls all the time at the beginning of the season. And then we had Kennedy and Zach. The duo of the season is Zach and Kennedy. Um, just, Hell yeah! Despite at the end of the game, obviously, um, Zach having to allow Kennedy to leave. Um, throughout this season, Zach and Kennedy were a very close duo. Um, that basically ran a lot of stuff that happened. Um, towards the beginning of the jury, both of them sat on a call, uh, possibly like, like counting themselves out. And next thing you know, they were right back on top. The Them winning HUH and Vito um, together two weeks was very iconic. I really enjoyed those weeks, seeing the um, be in power. Um, so yeah, they got best duo. I remember that call, Zach. Do you remember that call? Oh, I remember just, that call. It was we like sat there and we're like, midnight. we're done. I don't know what we're going to do. Corey had just won HOH. We're like, we're done. <laughs> okay. Next, we have the best rivalry of the season. We have Callum and Dylan, Josh and Devin, and Kennedy and Devin. The award goes to Callum and Dylan. Um, so production really enjoyed the fact that these two had such a strong rivalry over and over and over and over and over again, yet they both left pre-jury, but the rivalry was still that strong. Um, Also, looking at Josh and Devin, um, I find it funny that on the cast assessment, I mentioned that we could possibly be seeing some kind of Josh and Devin back and forth thing. but it was more likely that we would see them work together. And then being able to see both of those things kind of happen at some point in the game was really fun. And then also the Kennedy and Devin rivalry. Um, It was a little short lived, but it was still very enjoyable. Next we have the best alliance. So we have what started out as the Ascendance Alliance, but it was the six and then the five and then the four and it kept going down. Um, And then we have the bottom line, which Ah! is a very iconic group that, um, spoiler alert, Josh ended up leaking. Um, And then we have the figure Uh, out boys. Um, Well, the figure out boys. The alliance of the season is the figure out boys. Yeah, boy. While they didn't end up working together the entire game, this alliance was set up very early in the game and pretty much ran the beginning and kind of the middle of the game um, from all sides. You had Devin that was kind of on the side of the, like the Dylan side. You had Zach who was on the side of like the Josh side and then Garrett was kind of in the middle. And so the three of them just made this perfect little group um, that could come together with pretty much all the information of the game. Um, I was there. (laughs) Why was bottom line an option? That was not a good group. That lasted like a night. Zach, Zach, just it, so you know, dude, Corey, Josh, flat out, Corey flat out told me that Josh was the one that leaked it, and I had to like walk you so you'd be like, it has to be Josh. I knew it was Josh the entire time. I, I thought it was still that logic didn't make sense. Like it, it, the logic made sense, but at the same time, it just it yeah. didn't. And like I don't know why yeah. Josh would leak that. That doesn't. I don't. I, I like, because why? Josh doesn't like us. <laughs> 
I thought I'm it was like, best believe I wanted safety on Corey's HOH. You know? <laughs> well, I mean, not bad. I oh. thought it was very funny when uh, when you guys figured out it was Josh, and then next thing you know, you guys flip it back, and you're like, no, it was Devin. And so then Josh was back in the clear, even though you guys caught on to him, and I thought that was funny. Corey literally told me that it was Devin and Josh, and Why you just I just kind of because they okay. didn't. I didn't know. <laughs> the, the next award is Comp Beast of the Season. It goes to both Zach and Kennedy, who are now tied with Megan and Caleb for the most wins um, in a season with seven. Also, congratulations, Zach, because you have now officially broke the six season long curse of 1984 of the final HOH not winning the season. So, jo or Zach, you are the very first final HOH to win the season. I didn't know that was a thing, but... Yeah, the final HOH had never won this game until now. Wow, Zach's breaking records left and right. Oh my gosh, we should more show that. <laughs> okay, next award. The underdog of the season. Our nominees are Ali, Austin, <clears throat> Josh. The winner is Austin. Um, so, Austin... Um, flew pretty much under the radar for a good portion of the early game. And then um, tore, starting around the double, um, he started becoming a bigger presence in the game. Um, and then being able to slide his way and manage to make it into the final two after being so down and out um, early on, especially at final five, watching him struggle in that wall sit was so upsetting. And then having, uh, Caleb be the villain of the season and say, Austin, you touched your Stop. I was going to so throw. Stop. I felt so I, bad after I was that. so angry in my prod chat because I was like, I literally was going to throw as soon as Austin finished his sentence and then Caleb had to go and mess it up. I really made two people <laughs> cry that night and I've never heard you, Oh, we were so angry. <laughs> I felt uh, so silly. Like, oh my God. Austin, I, I was all for it. I was about to burst into tears. I was like, that was my win. I've been you can ask Zach so and Josh. <laughs> you asked Zach and Josh. I told them I was dropping. I was like, I'm done. Austin's going to have it. I'm sorry. And then Caleb had to go mess it up. <laughs> Worst move of the season. I was so sad. Okay. Um, so I believe, yep, we are getting into our bigger awards now. We have the hero of the season. Our nominees are Allie, Austin, and Garrett. <laughs> the winner of this award is Mr. Garrett or Garrett. Yes. And um, Garrett was a bright light this season, even though it was lights out. He always had something funny to say. <laughs> um, uh, also, his confessionals were very fun to watch as well. Um, while Garrett did not necessarily put himself into a side until later into the game, um, he did have a very positive um, effect on a lot of people in this game. And next we have villain of the season. Our nominees are Devin, Dylan, and Kennedy. Our winner is Devin. Devin is the villain of the season despite what he might want to say. Um, Devin was definitely the villain of the season. He um, got himself into both groups um, very early on, playing both sides, living up to the Devin Slither's name. Um, Devin played a wonderful game. He just got caught a little too early. Um, I absolutely thought that Devin had a great chance winning this game. Um, he just fell a little bit short. Um, but he, he definitely was the villain of the season. Um, so yeah, I do. I hated that I was a nom. Scroll. I do think that Dylan um, was definitely up there for villain. He just wasn't in the game long enough. And I do think that Kennedy definitely had some uh, some villainous features this game. Um, a specific. You know how many times I cried. <laughs> specifically, Big tears when getting Devin put up was one. Um, Mom, loud. definitely more villainous but you also ran a lot of this game and did it in a way that um was evil uh, yeah i guess so okay and next we have the player of the season our nominees are devin kennedy and zach this is a very hard decision to make however this is what we decided zach you are the player of the season and the winner, obviously. But Zach, you played this game through and through from going 
from being on the block week one to managing to save yourself multiple times, um, going in and um, sneaking little hints into people's brains to get things done that you wanted that was best for your game and nobody else's, specifically getting Dylan out, getting Corey out. Overall, you played an amazing game and that's why you were the player of the season. Devin and Kennedy also were both very much up there um, as well. I do think that Kennedy and Zach work very closely in this game. At one point, I think both of you were kind of telling us that you thought each other was playing for each other, which I thought was fun. Um, but yeah, overall, um, all three of you, most of the people that made or that played this game. I feel like Zach and I are going to have a very long Skype call after this. Oh, we will. <laughs> we will. Okay. Um, so I don't think that um Rizzo is here so um next we have decided this season we're going to do um prod uh, like the host favorite awards um so each of us got to name an award and give it to one person that we um enjoyed watching this season um just because we don't pick you doesn't mean we don't love you but we each had to pick one we made sure that we each chose a different person as well um, so unfortunately Rizzo is not here, but his Rizzo's rock star is Devin. Um, I don't know too much about why he chose Devin, but I know that Rizzo really enjoyed watching Devin play this season. Um, so yeah. Um, next, Caleb, I will let you talk about your award. Okay. Can you hear me? Am yes. I on? Okay. <laughs> so I have played 1984 three times, three times too many, if I might add. But um, I've. <laughs> it always is going to hold a special place in my heart. It's the first org that I've won. I came back for All Stars, and but um, what I don't like to mention is that m this was my first org ever. I was on season two. I got like second boo. It was it was rough, but um, it was my first org, and it's always going to have a really really special place in my heart because of that. And um, I really did enjoy watching Zach play. I know it was his first org. Um, and watching him just do so, so well for his first org is something that amazes me because I flopped so hard. But um, it was really awesome to watch Zach just do everything um, that he did in his first org. And I was just really impressed overall. Love you, Kayla. Um, can, I want to mention this really quick so it doesn't get overlooked. Um, we two we did this category competition and there was a question of name a 1984 winner and zach answers jabbar however he has caleb and then his two prod guests are sam and tyler who are both 1984 winners sitting in his production chat but he wow. did you throw <laughs> did oh you throw i threw scatterers? i threw hard i threw two i threw better we both <laughs> name all a prime it, fucking number it. <laughs> oh my god. When Zach said Jabbar, I I about to everyone right on knew spot. you both bro. It wasn't subtle. <laughs> oh, I knew, I knew. Yeah. That was just my that was one of my favorite moments when Zach answers Jabbar, but he has three 1984 winners sitting in his chat. I just thought it was mm. hilarious. Okay. Next is Blake's baddie. I forgot to animate this apparently. Blake gave his award to Josh. Um, he didn't say too much, but he did say that he really liked watching Josh play. Um, next is mine. I had a couple people I wanted to give mine to, but I named mine Michael's Manipulator, and I gave my award to Kennedy. Kennedy, I really enjoyed watching you play this season. Um, we sat on call a lot, uh, letting you rant and rant and rant about your game. Um, you really uh, impressed me this season. Um, I know you, this isn't your first game, but this is one of your first games. Um, and so watching you dominate so much was, um, was very fun. Um, also, honorable mention, I'm going to say it. Originally, I was going to name this Michael's Man Crush and give it to Garrett. Yep. It didn't happen. Um, yeah, Michael. Garrett, are you breaking up with him? We have to have a long talk after this, Michael. <laughs> we have a okay. long thing to discuss. Okay, and the last award we have is VL's favorite house guest. Um, we had five people receive votes, and those five people were Billy, Devin, Josh, Kennedy, and Nick. The top two vote getters were Devin and Kennedy with 50% of the vote. Congratulations, Kennedy. You are the VL's 
favorite house guest. Thank you, VL, even though I never interacted with you. <laughs> um, I did, um, but not intentionally. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I know the VL really enjoyed watching Kennedy play. Um, the VL was pretty active this season. They really liked watching all of you play. Um, they had a lot of commentary on most of you, so it was a pretty- They liked the honey bear? Can you tell me that now? Did people I notice the honey really commented on the honey bear as much as I wish they would have, but um, wow. really quick, we can go through episode title stuff that you, yeah, that says maybe next. Um, so um, episode titles in order. Um, so some of them or so each week I took a couple quotes that you guys had said and I put them into a poll and the VL got to um, vote for which one was their favorite and that became the episode quote of the week. Um, not as many people got them as I would have preferred, but that's how it goes. Um, so one was you immediately fucked that up. That was Chloe. Um, week two <laughs> was three inches in a foot. That was Peyton um, talking about uh, a question what? from Flip Cup. Um, week oh. three was he's too much of a Chad that was said by Devin. If I had to guess, I think he was talking about Josh, but I could be wrong. <laughs> um, and then next was eat a Snickers. That was said by Peyton. Um, mm. Week five was Kennedy saying, I'm not like other girls. Not like other girls. <laughs> <laughs> Week um, six was Valentine's Day already happened. Put away the hearts. Uh, week uh, seven was Zach saying the 1 a.m. tea. Um, <laughs> we love the 1 a.m. tea. Week eight was uh -oh. Garrett saying um, screwed, glued, and tattooed, my dudes. <laughs> Uh, the double was the honey bear, said by Kennedy. <laughs> the honey bear! Yes! Week nine was guess it's time to slither. That was said by Devin. Um, week ten was I fucking sold him Ocean View property in Iowa. That was Josh. <laughs> uh, Zach, I believe. Um, and then uh, week 11 was lights out of the eviction night, said by Josh. The fucking fuck you, Josh. <laughs> Week twelve was make sure you know how to pitch it. That was Kennedy, and then when did I say that? Sorry, that was right at, right after your eviction, and then oh. um and then week thirteen was face the music. That was said by. Josh. Um. Also, I I can reveal the vote counts. Um, oh, gross. Okay. Now I, one of my picks, like. I'm, I feel special. Kennedy has like five of them. I'm like, me sitting here with my one. I'm like, <laughs> um, I'm not quite going, I'm not going to go through and say like who, hey, voted for, who voted for who at each time, but I can give the vote counts at least. So, Chloe was voted out by a vote of 10 to 3. 10 to 3? 10 to 3. Okay. Nick was voted out by a vote of 9 to 3. Billy was voted out by a vote of nine to one. Peyton voted out by a tie vote. Josh broke the tie that week. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Josh! Jerry, Jerry was voted out by a vote of five to four. Dylan was voted out by a vote of six to two. Callum was voted out with a unanimous vote. Amanda voted out by a vote of- Sorry, Callum. Of four to two. Corey was voted out by a vote of four to one. Devin was voted out by a vote of three to one. Allie was voted out by a unanimous vote. Garrett, obviously, Kennedy broke the tie. I wonder what, can I, what, what I got voted out by. Austin. And the other two, obviously. <laughs> Austin voted out Kennedy. Kennedy got voted out by Austin. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to think of that else that I can really reveal. Um, so Caleb won the broad team um, draft. And I believe Blake is the winner of the VL fantasy draft, like the viewers draft. Um, I'm not mm -hmm. sure on that. Uh, I'm, the um, I'm pretty sure he won that. Um, give me just a second and I can go through and um, read off who the draft teams were for production. 
Um, can you screen share it? Can you spill the tea on the um, who's not the who's who, but um, what what was that? Touchy subjects. Touchy subjects. Touchy subjects. I want to know the tea. Oh, shall we really go do that? Callum, <laughs> I no. voted you for the bad stuff because I knew you were going. Um, okay, I, I still can, love you. I who, who voted I'll, me for all I'll the reveal, shit? I'll reveal touchy subjects. I'll send that out later. That's not something okay. I'll be able to do now because it's just. But I want it now, Michael. Um, so <laughs> that's what she said. Michael, that's what he said. That's what they said. Okay. Um, so <laughs> for the prod team draft, for the prod team's draft, we each pick four people. Um, but we did it like snake style. Uh, this season, each of us got to choose one person as our lock for the season, so that or so like nobody could cut them. Um, none of the other prod teams were cutting them or anything. Um, and so that became our first draft member. So for Blake, that was Callum. For me, that was Garrett. For Caleb, that was Zach. And for Ray, that was Barry. Um, so then uh, Blake's team, in order that he picked it, was Austin, Corey, and Allie. My team was Devin, Chloe, and Billy. Caleb's was Amanda, Kennedy, and Dylan. And Rizzo's was Josh, Peyton, and Nick. Thank you, Caleb. I'm going to nip to the rest of I got you, Thank girl. you. <laughs> if there's too much more um will the final two ever be added into the jury house or is that like jury secrets they don't get a no that. i all i'm most likely going to add the whole cast to the jury house chat so can i like forward something yeah you never get to forward stuff now that's fine okay um i can't kick you out of the game anymore. Uh, zach when i read this i wanted to send it to you um, i don't know what to expect uh, you guys will also get added, obviously. To, um, I can't do this. You guys will get to be added to the alumni chat once the reunion is over. Um, so yeah, um, trying to think if there's anything else that you guys want to hear um, from Prod about what we thought, or if there's any other information that you guys want to know. Um, we can subjects. Okay, I can't. Garrett, we'll find that out yeah, later. We'll that um, oh, the prod that's here. Man, love what, you so much. what were your guys' thoughts on like the specific like big moves? So like Allie putting up Devin, um, Garrett putting up Dylan. Like specifically, what did you guys think about those? Um, I thought obviously that that was a good move for Kennedy and Zach and all of them that Devin got put up. Obviously, I don't think that was the best. I should. I was not even going to. I shouldn't have. Yeah, Allie definitely should have. In that position, I think Allie should have put up Josh. Um, I was going. No, I was going to put up Kennedy and Garrett. I should have stuck with that. Zach would have been. Honey, I would have won veto. I mean, I told you. No, Zach, yeah. <laughs> I know Zach would have been my renom if that it was, was the case. It was hard because Devin was at the time playing you guys, but at the position he was in, he kind of had to rely on you at that point when Kennedy and Zach started throwing his name out there. I think literally day one, I said in a thing, they were like, So who do you think is your biggest ally? And I was like, mm, probably Devin, maybe like Zach. <laughs> and then little did I know Devin's just a fucking snake. <laughs> Not that. Not go there. <laughs> But like That's in a good way. Mean. Devin is very smart. I wish Devin was here. I wish he was here too. <laughs> I miss and Devin. I miss everybody. I want all my people. I want like, remember when I was talking in the jury chat about how like we can all be like one big relationship? Like, can we still make that happen? Yeah, I will. I'll date all of you. <laughs> and then Don't Michael said, org to an orgy real quick. And like, what's the problem? From an org that? to an orgy real quick. I love that. Um, And then as far as like, I think my favorite move of the whole season was uh, Zach convincing Garrett to put up Dylan. Um, that that just went like a complete 180 in so little time. Um, it was just very fun to see that happen. It started as just a quick like complaint in the chat and that turned into Dylan ah! going home. So it was it was pretty iconic. Uh-huh. I don't know. I, I, that move benefited Garrett too. Like, I don't think that Garrett should have been targeting Allie there regardless. It didn't make sense to me, but obviously... Zach we, really we, said, this is the move that should happen. So, Garrett, this is the move that should happen. And Garrett was like, much. you know, you're right. You really are right. If you would have been on that call, I was stressed. I wasn't in the awesome. alliance. Like, Hey, sorry if you're not part of the figure-out boys. Sorry. I could be the figure-out girl. 
With who? I would be with the boys. <laughs> no, you're not one of the boys. You're a girl. Imagine having an boys alliance. With the boys and girls with Nick! the girls. I'm, I'm I was not added to a single chat. No one wanted to work with me. Except for Austin. Me either. No, no one wanted to work with me either. Nick, I wanted to work with you when I saw your cast reveal, but I can't tell you why. Oh. I'm so sorry. I wanted to work Poor with Nick. you. And then I just immediately was like, Nick, you're my nom. Zach, can I, I literally was like, I'm going to put up Nick or Austin without um, knowing that it was you two were like each other's. <sighs> um, Zach, this is just something that bothered me. It's not like a big deal. When you were like telling me that we never talked, that kind of like, uh, like I know we talk. The rest. I know, but you were telling me that's why you were evicting me. And I was just like, I feel like oh, I talked to you more the most. No, I know. It, it was difficult because at the time, Amanda <laughs> was like one of my closest allies. Like, I could not. Like, I could not go against her at that Which point. Like, fine. I just yeah. was like, oh. No, we definitely spoke. I, I think I meant it in a way that, like, we just didn't speak, like, game in that way. We spoke a lot. Like, I spoke to you more than a lot of people. Like, I will 100% say that. Like, that was true. And I I didn't want you going. Like, but yeah, I got shit really to say when the recording's over. <laughs> oh. Say it now. Just... Oh, I don't actually have. <laughs> I Don't call me out because then now I look stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I look stupid. <laughs> anyway, I look stupid plenty. Welcome to my everyday life, Kennedy. At least you made the endurance cops fun by not shutting up. That's true. <laughs> I I was I read the YouTube chat after I got out of the veto, and they're like, Kennedy's stressing me out. She's talking so much. And I'm like, guys, that's how I'm focusing. But then Isaiah asked me a question, and I had to actively think. I can mindlessly talk for hours, but I had to actively think, oh, and then I fucked up. Shut up, Michael! <laughs> Uh, no i i did not think i was going to win comps um like just so you guys know i am not a, i i do not win comps that's not something i do Kennedy, you better shut your ass up with that bullshit okay, before, i don't win comps before Talk this game before this game before the game and i'm pissed uh-uh. i'm pissed Nick, because if i would have won no, if i would have won tower of hanoi if I would have won Tower of Hanoi with my practice, I would have won. I would have broke the record, and Zach still would have been fine because Zach wouldn't have taken himself down. I would have taken him down in Tower of Hanoi, so I would have uh, broke the record. Beast. Oh, that, was another, Zach- that was another really funny moment for me was Kennedy sitting there practicing, getting like a 30-second time, and then going and doing it. In, sp- in three fucking minutes? Yeah. But, I was I like, mean, here, hang on. In the end. But- Got it. And then... It- <sighs> Um, Prada, I expect you all to praise me in my chat. <laughs> Done. Thank you, Caleb. <laughs> okay. Is there anything else anybody wanted to know before I stop? Is there anything else you guys want to know? About? Not on the recording. <laughs> not, uh, not that pretty. I don't have anything to say off the recording. With that, this has been a great season. Um, One of the best. Very likely a top tier season, if not the best we've ever had. Um, I will follow up with that once the the recency bias is uh, not there anymore. Um, Power rankings will be out eventually. We'll get everything rolled out, the chart, the um, touchy subjects. The Circle Night chart is within the chart as well. Um, I also did EDUC for this season, um, so that's there. Um, I, I, um, this was the first time I've ever done EDUC, so I hope that I did it correctly. So it's probably bad. I think it's pretty accurate. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I love you. I'm so excited. I think it's pretty accurate, though, so um, hopefully you guys enjoy Aww. the stuff. So. Proud of you for putting in the extra work on top of your busy schedule. Thank you. Um, so with that, congratulations to you, Zach. Austin, congratulations to you as well. This is a great season. You guys um, played this game so well. Me and Blake have been really wanting a season that had two sides that actually both won comps, and I think we finally got it. So um, this is this is a really fun season. Great cast. You guys are a great group. Um, I'm really proud of how all well you guys played. So that is it for 1984 Lights Out. Um, if you want to play this game, apps for our next game will be out soon. Um, Do it. Quite sure if we're doing season eight or surviving three yet. 
It's looking towards season eight, but we will let you guys know as soon as we can. Um, So with that, that is all I have for you guys. Good night.